hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel i'm jessica seth or you can call me mama j so this is my first ever youtube video i'm so excited i actually wanted to do this um for a very long time but i've been feeling so reluctant and very lazy but i want to say a big thank you to you guys for pushing me yeah we are now <laughs> so our first video i'm going to be responding to a few questions asked by you guys so it's just like a question and answer session so let's get right to it I am Jessica Seth Egwono Umukoro. Now Umukoro used to be um, Akpojiyowi, but obviously I got married and I had to change my name. I know some of you will be wondering where that Seth came from. So the thing is, um, my elder brother is actually my role model and he, had, he changed his name to Seth and because of the love I had for him, I had to change my name too. <laughs> so yeah, that's how the Seth came about. So yeah. <laughs> I am from Delta State, Ugeli. Yeah, I know a lot of you think I'm from Worry, but I actually was born and raised in Worry. Like, I stayed in Worry all my life, so I'm literally a Worry girl for life. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm from Delta State, Ugeli, but I was born and raised in Worry. If you know me, you know I love baby boys like so much. Don't get me wrong, I love both genders, but. I've always wished for two boys and when I got pregnant with um, Jace, everyone was like, oh, I want a girl, I want a girl, I want, but I, I wanted a boy so bad and everyone actually found me weird because I wanted another boy. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've always wanted two boys so no, I never wished Jace was a girl, no. So yeah, I deliberately planned to have them close to each other because I want to suffer now, I enjoy later. I don't want to be doing baby matter in a <laughs> few years to come. Yeah, so yeah, it was it was planned. To be honest, when we got married, this was a question I was asking myself, like, how would I give attention to my husband when my kids get here, you know? But to be honest, um, the difference is not much. Just spending time with each other, um, with the kids. So when the kids are asleep, we get our own time you know <laughs> so yeah we enjoy spending time with each other so I always have his time he always has my time we we'll always make time for each other it just happens I met my husband through Instagram he sends me a DM and <laughs> so okay let me explain you know sometimes when you're on your phone and maybe a message pops up and you just open it by mistake that's how it, ha it happened so I was on my phone that day and his, his messages popped up and I opened it by mistake and you know that kind of situation you just have to reply back so it doesn't seem like you're snubbing so I opened it uh, he sent me messages I replied you know we started chatting and uh, he asked for my whatsapp which I refused because I don't like people on my whatsapp just close people only so he didn't stop there he kept messaging me uh, he was even disturbing me he would be telling me about his day that I didn't even care about <laughs> so um, finally after chatting a while um, I agreed to give him my whatsapp number so the chat continued there obviously and he would message me few days weeks i won't even reply so he kept on doing that and it was actually like um a disturbance to me so he kept on doing that and it reduced and one day i think he just stopped messaging me i didn't even notice so one day i think i was bored that day and i was going through my contact list on whatsapp and i went i saw his name and i was like ah this pest does not disturb me again what ah, what's going on <laughs> So, jokingly, I sent him a message. I'm like, ah, you've forgotten me. You don't disturb me again. What's up? So, he wasn't like, no, that's not the case. Um, I didn't want to send messages because I felt like I was disturbing you. Blah, 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 you know. So, that was actually the first time ever I, I actually paid um, attention to our chats. And I'm like, ah, this guy is not bad though. Okay. So, we started chatting more. We got to know each other. We started dating. And here we are now. <laughs> So yeah, I saw I um I met my husband through Instagram. Yes, I do have a mother-in-law. She's a very tough lady. <laughs> this woman is tough, but she's so sweet if you get to know her. She's a sweet lady, but tough. <laughs> oh my god. So both kids, I was I had to be induced. Um, Jeremy, because it was over 41 weeks, and Noga was chilling. <laughs> so he had to leave my body 
ASAP. While for J's, I had to be induced because I went into contractions early, mad contractions, but it wasn't dilating. So I had to be induced. So, you know, induced labor is different from normal labor because induced labor is really slow. So, you know that moment where they have to come insert their fingers into your vagina to check if you're dilating jesus christ that is the most painful shit ever like it was that's the most challenging part for me it was really painful yeah so that that's it for me marriage is a very beautiful thing but it's something you don't just jump into because you end up crashing so you don't have to run away whenever you're ready you're ready and whenever you're not you're not I know a lot of people that got married because of the wedding ceremony, the old Ashwebite, Bella Ninja, you know, not thinking about the marriage itself. So it's not something you jump into when you're not ready. Do it at your own time whenever you're ready. Full time mom, where I'm a business owner, <laughs> I'm an influencer. I don't know, a lot of people don't see um, being an influencer as a job. And it's really wrong because I work really hard for my money. I get I work hard and I get paid so nah, I don't plan to be a full-time mom because I'm not a full-time mom I can't be a full-time mom <sighs> I am 20 something <laughs> I'm sorry guys I don't feel comfortable talking about my age right now I'm in my early 20s I just don't feel comfortable I'm not ashamed nah I'm not ashamed of my age or anything i just look, i don't feel comfortable talking about it now all right so my school is in lagos so i had to come here it was stressful going back to worry each time i um i'm done with school so i had to get an apartment in lagos um to make going to school easier for me so yeah so i moved to lagos because of school and marriage yeah When I was little, I always wished to get married early and have my children early. It was my biggest wish when I was growing up. So yeah, it happened exactly how I wanted it to. So yeah, I actually wanted to get married early. It, it didn't just happen. Um, well, I don't know about the future, but I'm talking about now. I would say no because I don't feel like any 9 to 5 job in Nigeria would pay me as much as social media does. Nah. I'm a very outspoken person and um, when I got married to my husband, I, I told him this is how I am and he told me this is how he is, you understand? So we came um, to an agreement that no matter what happens, no matter the fight or quarrels, we had to settle it that same day. No matter what, how, no matter how big it is, we will never let it um, cross that day so that we can wake up to a brighter and a beautiful day like nothing happened. So that's how we handle it and it's been going really great. Um, so that particular day, I was really cranky. I was not in the mood because my husband was not giving me attention. So we we're supposed to go to the club that day with his friends and their partners. So when the time reached, we went to the club and... I actually snubbed everybody. I was snubbing my husband and his friends. I was just on my phone killing everybody's vibe because I was not in the mood. So um, when I looked at my husband, my husband was dancing, was having fun. Ah, I'm like, so this man is seeing me angry and he's not even giving me that attention. I just took the key, khaki, and I just went downstairs. I was really angry. So obviously he had to come downstairs to meet me and he was already getting mad because I was, kill I was actually ruining his day. So um it drove me back to where we were and um i started sleeping so like earlier said we always had to settle our differences that same day so he woke me up and i was like what's up why are you angry why are you giving attitude and i was snobbing him making his life <laughs> miserable that day <laughs> so i started frustrating him like giving him attitude and everything so my husband started crying <laughs> Babe, I'm sorry I mentioned that part, but that was the first time ever I seen my husband cry. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I only wanted your attention and you're not giving me. You know, we started, I started crying as well, so we started crying together. And before I know, a guy pulled out ring. He said, when he pulled out the ring, he was like, I wanted to propose to you at the club. My mind, ah, thank God he did not. I hate public um, proposals, I like it, mine private. He pulled out the ring and it was like, he called my full name, Jessica Akmoji, we are going to would you be my wife and i was like oh yes you know so we all do a kiss so yeah um that was how it happened 
because he has to work he's got to work i am working he has to work we need to provide for our family so he's not always around because he has to go to work okay okay so i don't like talking about this much but there was a time in my life i was wilding i was going astray my life was going really bad i was going out with the wrong set of people and basically that was the period i got to know my husband so it just feels like god sent him to me to save me because it got to a point that i thought my life was over i wanted to commit suicide yes i'm not joking with you i wanted to commit suicide so uh, my husband came to me that period without even knowing what was going on in my life at that moment so that's what i meant by uh, marriage saved me like i was just going to kill myself thinking my life was over not knowing that that was just the beginning for me so whatever you may be going through just know it's temporary god got you you will be fine okay um there are a lot of difficulties being a mom but i would say it's the sleepless night for me because i was this person that would sleep all day I, I used to sleep all day so i've not gotten used to the fact that i have to wake up every night to attend to one man's child <laughs> but yeah it's the sleepless night for me it's definitely the sleepless night for me it's not easy it really was not easy that was like the most difficult stage of my life like during 100 level uh, i was good my grades were good so 200 level i got married um and got pregnant so i had to stop being a hosteller i would go every day from Aja to ikorodu during the exam periods with the bad roads traffic every i was so exhausted oh my god it was really hard there was even one time I was I started spotting. I actually thought I lost my pregnancy because I came back that day. I think around 11 p.m. I started bleeding. <sighs> Fast forward to Jay's. During my first trimester, I wrote my uh, 400 level first semester exams. Um, uh, I was trained up. I was sick. I was so sick. I could not read. I could not concentrate. It was really, really, really hard for me. Then when I had Jay's, I think four days after having him, I had to go write my final exams. Guys, I couldn't even sit down. Obviously, my body went through a lot. My vagina went through a lot, man. I couldn't even sit down to write these exams. Like, ah, it was really, really stressful. I'm so glad it's over. And I can't wait to be graduating very soon. <laughs> so, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe, please. Also, don't forget to like, share, and comment as well. Thank you guys so much. Love you. Bye.